Man, I'm getting a call here from a number I, I don't recognize. <laughs> uh, hello, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Hey there, little brother. This is David Lee Roth calling your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Now, I know you're probably thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I getting a call from American vocalist DLR? <laughs> well, as one entertainer turned podcaster slash YouTube phenomenon to another, I just wanted to reach out in a spirit of respect and honor to you specifically considering what you've been able to build in your little garage out there in Pasadena, my hometown, which makes it all so much sweeter. <laughs> hometown love never dies. And extend an open hand of respect that in ancient Japanese culture is known as Tatsuyasuki, which is something I just made up right now because I speak compulsively. <laughs> Well, let me get this straight. I'm talking to David Lee Roth from Van Halen? Yes, Van Halen is one of several sources your listeners may know me from. But let's not forget, lest we be remiss, my solo career, my solo albums, Crazy from the Heat, number one, many weeks, as well as possibly younger people knowing me best from my work with the New York Paramedic Association. (laughs) Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I'm kind of what you call a, a polymath. But now I am, like you, a YouTube guy. 30K subscribes. That's a good start. It is, I agree, but it's no 616K, Mr. Door. Let me know when you get to 666, right? Running with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I will do, Mr. Lee Roth. Please call me Diamond Dave. <laughs> Just kidding. But maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, so I need to get these numbers up. Okay. And it seems to me, from what I've seen, the best way to do that is to go leapfrogging around YouTube. Guest on this show? Get more subscribes. <laughs> Guest on that show, get even more subscribes. That's kind of how you did it, right? Uh, maybe to a certain extent. That's certainly an element of it. So, yeah, I've been on Mark Marin in his garage. <laughs> I did Joe Rogan. Got that sweet Rogan bump. <laughs> you did Joe's show. I bet you got a sweet Rogan bump. Yes, I did. That is true. I got a Rogan bump. <laughs> So what I'm saying is that I am looking for that sweet, sweet door bump. Um, but don't worry, I'm not talking about the door bump that we used to do when Van Halen was on tour with Sabbath in 79 on the Never Say Die tour. It's the most dangerous bump there is because we do it right <laughs> off the doorknob and you never know when some maniac was going to come crashing through the door. Look, you know, I don't... Uh... I probably should tell tales out of school, but... Geezer Butler broke his nose twice on that tour. <laughs> <laughs> Look, David Lee Roth, with all due respect, this is primarily a political podcast. We usually have journalists and the like as guests. Hey, man, David Lee Roth is politics, <laughs> and politics is David Lee Roth. <laughs> That makes literally no sense. <laughs> yeah, but neither does zip and bop and doop and zip. But it may be a million dollars after taxes. <laughs> but seriously, 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 Jimmy, top Jimmy, who, 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 who's your dem candidate right now? Who's your fave? Well, we hear at the show like Tulsi Gabbard a lot. In fact, she's been a guest of ours. I think she's a great candidate. I love that gray streak in her hair she's got going. <laughs> Makes me think of Rogue from the X-Men. <laughs> or going even further back, Joe Beth Williams from Poltergeist. Do you remember that? <laughs> back then, even when we were in the haze of the sort of diver down here of Van Halen. You is know, it Diamond Dave? You, you, you know what Queen famously called a belladonic haze, a phrase I always enjoyed. Even then, uh, <laughs> Joe Beth Williams' hair streak really grabbed us, man, really stuck out in the zeitgeist. Yes, okay, Dave, but 
We like Tulsi because of her policies, not her hair thing. <laughs> well, it sounds like there's a lot to love about the lovely Miss Gabbard. <laughs> See, that's just the type of stuff we can rap about in person when I'm on your show. Well, look, Dave, in addition to the fact that you are neither a journalist nor a politician, we'd like to kind of stay focused on topic during our segments. You seem uh, kind of all over the map. I mean, I'm sorry, but no, I mean, I hope you're not too bummed out. Ah, oh, come on, man. Are you kidding? Of course I'm bummed out. I'm as bummed out as Sammy Hagar at a DWI checkpoint. <laughs> I'm as bummed out as Elvis Costello at a dick measuring contest. <laughs> but you know what? I'll get over it. It was, it was good catching up, my friend. Well, glad to see you're keeping your sense of humor. Always, Jimmy, always. Hey, speak it up. If I can't sit in with you and Steph and the gang, maybe I can keep calling in. Maybe. We'll see. We'll we'll see how this video does on YouTube. Yeah. Breaking the fourth wall, babe. I love it. <laughs> hey, our next live Jimmy Dore show is in Seattle, September 16th. That's a Monday. Plus, every Sunday in October, we're doing a live Jimmy Dore show at the Sycamore Tavern in Hollywood, California. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all tickets and become a premium member. We give you hours of bonus material. Thanks for your support.